Good morning and welcome to the show. It is summertime and it's also Wednesday, so you know what that means. We've got Vonda the Coupon Queen here in the studio at the luxurious Fox Studios. Yes. <laughs> so awesome. It is so awesome. <laughs> right here in the heart of beautiful downtown Panama City. And we've got the beautiful Vonda Gaynor with us today who's going to uh, tell us about some summertime deals. Yes. This, the viewers are going to love this. Mm -hmm. This is fun. June is the month you can stock up on anything that pertains to being outside or barbecuing. Ooh. Even to include some household items. Ketchup, mustard, any condiments. Barbecue uh -huh. sauce, hot dog buns, bread, paper plates, any type of paper on product sale. on sale. Anywhere, not just a, a specific store, but all stores. They're going to be heavily discounted. And by the time we get to the end of month, they're gonna be reduced. Freeze pops, popsicles, everything. And you know why, Don? Why? School stuff is going to be coming out. Oh. So all of the summer stuff is going to have to go. So the summer stuff is gonna be a very it's quick the, season, it sounds like. Yes, so now the whole month of June, just stock up and the prices are going to drop lower and lower and lower. And, and it is barbecue season too. Yes, so it you, is. You know, you want to get a new brush uh, every year or so and you know. Now's the, little, the time, yeah. even charcoal. Charcoal's yeah. going to be at a reduced rate, like all of June. Oh, wow. Yes, at, because and after the 4th of July, it's going to go up. Right after the 4th, everything is going to go up. So June. Isn't that odd? Is, yes. Yeah. So anything for out, the fun stuff that's for outside. So now's the time. And it, now is the time. June is the time to get June all your summer fun stuff? Get, yes. What about and pool products? toys and stuff like that? Yes. Anything. Yeah. So if you were like, yes. Floaties for the, the kids. The floaties and the, what do they call them? Noodles. You know? Yeah, those things. Anything. <laughs> yeah. And if anybody does fireworks, any sparkle, anything related to outside, June is the month to get it. Oh, wow. So, that's great. Yeah, I spend a lot of time outside of my house shopping in June. I, is there any particular place that you would go or just any store? Will okay. Have it? I probably shouldn't say this, but okay. I'm going to share. This is the inside my store scoop. This is the inside <laughs> scoop, you all. Dollar General. That's really? the only store I'll okay. be at. Okay, so Dollar General is going to have General. some great deals on yes. summer stuff. Month of June, way to go. And that's nationwide, yeah. not just one, all Dollar Generals. Yeah. That's the store. And of course, that's not to say that you uh, can't get deals somewhere else. Somewhere but, else. But that's your preference. But that's my preference. So you all know, if the coupon queen says it, it's got to be good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're not one to throw your money away. I know no. that. So uh, you'll get. To, this is a woman who makes a nickel scream. You, I, try. I, I think you and Karen are like separated at birth or something. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> she's, she's very frugal, my wife. I mean, yes, she, she is. She, she looks to, to get a deal, looks, looks to get a bargain as best she can. Yes. You know? She I mean, does well. She does pretty good, you yes. know, but sometimes life gets in the way and you can't always make it all the way out to the commissary or go to that store where True. you know the good deals are. And, it, cause, and that's everybody. We're all busy with yes. our lives. But if you make a conscious effort to say, this is going to be my shopping habit from now on, you can save tons of money. And that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, also the clearance sections. Oh, Check yeah. the clearance sections in every store, every store that you shop at, even grocery stores. All of those items are going to be reduced. So it's summer fun items, barbecue stuff, pool stuff, stuff. all that stuff. Yes. And of course, always look in the uh, in the bargain areas and in the clearance areas as well. Yes. Vonda the Coupon Queen, thank you again for that great advice on how to save money this summer. And we'll be right back after your Waking Up With Don weather. Welcome back to the show and welcome back to the show. Shelly Calloway from the Shelly Calloway team of Booyah Mortgage. Booyah. Booyah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we do that every week now. I, I yeah, love right. it. I love yeah, it. Yeah. So, you know, last week we talked about what all you do for Booyah Mortgage, and you talked about this whole process that you kind of shepherd people's mortgages through this very complicated uh, process that has a lot of rules and regulations behind sure, it. Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, today I'd really like to go over um, the appropriate guidelines in our specialties, um, which is VA, first mm -hmm. and foremost. Yeah. Booyah, VA. Veterans helping veterans. And, and lest we forget, Booyah was founded by a guy who was a Marine. Correct. I'm not going to say ex-Marine, because once a Marine, always a Marine. Correct. we got to remind yes. people of that. Yes. But, you know, VA mortgages are kind of your specialty, aren't they? It, it really is. Mm -hmm. VA mortgages, and come to find out, condos have also become my specialty as well. Oh, my. So the two things I'm really focused on right now is mm -hmm. VA mortgages and condo financing. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the advantages of a VA mortgage? I mean, we, we all kind of have a rough idea of that, oh yeah, you can get into a house with little or no down, but. Sure. 
Um, VA mortgages, there's a, there's a big misconception out there about VA lending and lenders VA overlays and guidelines. Mm -hmm. So that I think that's where people get a little confused because VA is going to have their set of guidelines and then lenders are going to have their overlays. We actually have the ability because of our low risk. And by overlay, you mean that a lender will have some special conditions they'll put on top of that VA. Correct, as, such as a credit score. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a great example. So you, you can shop around, and not all VA mortgages are, are created equal is what I'm hearing. That is exactly mm -hmm. correct. Um, we have the ability to go down to 530 credit score. Mm -hmm. I don't know of anyone else really locally that can go below five, mm -hmm. uh, 640, 620, but we have the ability to go down to 530. It's 100% financing. Mm -hmm. We are able to structure it to where basically the borrower brings nothing at closing. Oh my. The closing costs are taken care of. We can help structure that with the seller concessions. There is a difference in customary seller paid closing cost and seller concessions. The difference is in the state of Florida, seller custor, uh, customary um, paid closing costs are going to cover your title insurance. Mm -hmm. The majority of your title insurance, owner's doc and, and um, doc stamps. Seller's concessions is where they're contributing a certain percentage or amount towards the buyer's closing costs. So that's a dollar amount. Right. It, it, it could be a percent, it could be a percentage or a dollar amount. Okay. But essentially with our credit, with 100% financing being offered by VA and whatever we can structure in the contract for the sellers to contribute towards the buyer's cost, mm -hmm. we pretty much are working it out to where the buyer's bringing zero to closing. In fact, the some of uh, actually eight out of ten are getting the majority of their earnest money back at closing and getting a check. Oh my. So if you're a young family, if you're a young veteran with a family and you're looking to get a toehold in the, in, in, the, in the housing market and get that little piece of the American dream, we can come see you and pretty much on a handshake and a smile That's right. buy our first home. And we're all about veterans mm -hmm. helping veterans. Yeah. So we're and not happy necessarily to... our first home. It could be a second home or whatever. You know, if you're and, and we've talked mm -hmm. about that before, but yes, yeah. there are different entitlements and you always want to talk to a specialist, give us a call, let us know. We'll walk you through it every mm -hmm. step of the way, whether you're a first time home buyer or whether you've purchased eight to 10 homes, it doesn't matter. We're going to treat mm -hmm. you the same and make sure whatever questions you have, we're going to make sure they get answered Yeah, for but you. typically when you look at a VA home loan, usually it's a lot of first time buyers. You know, they, they, they may be young enlisted people who are looking to buy their first home. And, and yeah. I mean, you're, you're right, especially here yeah. with having two bases. I mean, yeah. it's, we run into that a lot. They're going to be first time home buyers, but some are going to be relos and mm -hmm. they're going to be relocating from another state That's or true. another base. And so. it's that season too. Uh, people are getting their orders now, springtime, summertime. There's a lot of movement going on in the mm -hmm. military this time of year. Mm -hmm. So We have been super busy. We had mm -hmm. 52 VA loan closings last month. If people want to get in touch with you, what can they do? They can give me a call at 850-532-9332 or go to booyahmortgage.com forward slash Shelly Galloway. Booyah Mortgage. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Laura Nelson from A-List Accounting. We're going to get some tips. We're going to get some tips. That's what I meant to say, Laura, on how to run your business more efficiently, save money, and tighten up your business practices. Laura, thanks so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. And thanks for being my interpreter here because I got a little tongue-tied there. That rarely happens, but... It happened. It happened this time. Exactly. So wh how is, what's our tip for today? Um, pricing. Pricing. Yes. So basically most people, um, the pitfall with pricing is they want to go with what their competitors are doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have a product that is has a good value, um, a good brand behind it, you shouldn't have to compete with your competitors. You should be able to sell it. So you really have to price t to what your value is, exactly. not necessarily to undercut the other guy. Correct. Correct. And ideally, you wouldn't be undercutting them. It just depends on your value and where. Or to be cheaper than correct. everybody else in town. Correct. Because, you know, it's basically the same motto you pay for what you get. Yeah, you get what you pay for, and pay yeah. for what you get. That's, yep. that's quite true in a lot of ways. So, I mean, if you're, say, you go and get an accounting service for $99 a month, mm -hmm. more than likely, you're getting the very minimal mm -hmm. basics, you know, kind of just stick in that bank reconciliation, no analyzation. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be minimal, you yeah. know, um, versus if you pay for a normal service, you know, you'll get some 
analytics in there, bank reconciliation, reports, you know, there's just different things in which you can get. What about penetration pricing? I mean, mm -hmm. some new businesses, you know, want, want to be able to say, hey, we're, you know, just to introduce people to them. Correct. We're, we're going to try and, you know, get new customers or get people to try mm -hmm. them out. Mm -hmm. is, is that a legitimate tactic or do you think that could backfire on a business? Um, yes and no, but at some point you got to be able to recoup that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you either are planning on getting so many clients because of that, you know, I mean, because if you're giving in, you know, basically you're reducing your cost down to minimal mm -hmm. because you're now going to reimburse them for, say, their contract of the other company, okay? So you may be out $150, just say. Mm -hmm. Well, per person that adds up, but now you got to figure out, and they've done their research and they're going to get that money back some way or another. Mm -hmm. You see, so, so it'll be on the other end of whatever contract you may have exactly. with that service or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and I, I see you got a couple of points here. What the downside is, to, or the pricing pitfalls that people get themselves into when they price too low. You know, when when people shop around for price mm -hmm. and they go with a less expensive service provider, right. whatever that service may be. Right. They may. A, may not get what they're paying for, or they will get what they're paying for, which isn't a lot. Correct, correct. That particular type of customer or client may not be as loyal. Correct, they may not, well, and mm -hmm. the, they may not pay. Oh, they that's true too. They may be poor payers, yeah. they may complain a lot, or want a lot of your attention, mm -hmm. that then, you know, the value in which you just gave them is way yeah. exceeding the value of your services. I mean, I, you know, I pride myself on shopping around. <laughs> you know, but I don't want to be that guy either. You know, you want to get a good no, you do. value for your money. You do. You want to mm -hmm. compare and you want to get a good pricing, but you don't want to mm -hmm. go necessarily, you don't always have to go with the cheapest because the cheapest isn't always the best. That's true too. You yeah. could just go kind of mid-range and yeah. fall somewhere in the middle. That's, you know, you really have to do the analysis on what you're getting for your money Correct. and really figure out the Correct. value. Just don't go by a low number. Exactly. And that's yep. probably very wise advice. Laura Nelson from A-List Accounting, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us about pricing pitfalls <laughs> for cheap people like me. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Heather Noyes from Raymond James Financial. Welcome back to the show, Heather. Thanks now, for having me. You know, last week we, we talked about individual stocks mm -hmm. and some kind of hot tips that, that you had for right. people who were individual investors, maybe sophisticated investors mm -hmm. who knew how to manage stocks. Any hot tips for us this week? Yeah, I've got a, I've got something else I share with you mm -hmm. too, but just kind of reminder that you want to have a diversified portfolio. So again, you mentioned stocks aren't for everyone, individual stocks aren't for everyone, and not even equities in general aren't for everyone. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. So suitability is definitely an issue, especially one of the ones that I'm going to bring up. So this is not one that I hold wild, wild, ugh, widely mm -hmm. in my clients' or accounts. wildly. Wildly, because <laughs> it is kind of wild, yeah. actually. It's newly, it's a new stock to the market. It's not a new company by any means, but they just started trading in the last, um, I would say the last three three months or so, and it's a company called Mobile Eye. Um, Mobile Eye. Yeah. And what they do, have you seen, I think it's a Lexus or an Infinity commercial, and the guy's getting in this car, and he's going to back up, mm -hmm. and the car, like, stops itself. Right. Because there's a little girl that's going by in the driveway on her bike or scooter or something like that. Have you seen that commercial yeah, at all? Yeah, or yeah. Okay. So it's not really the concept of having the um, the backup camera. The camera. It's actually the software that they've created that stops that vehicle. Oh my. And they are really about the only company doing this right now. So they have a huge market and a huge potential, you know, to continue to grow and to work with car Because most new makers. cars nowadays have that backup camera. I mean, you look, you can see behind you, and it's kind of cool to have. You mm -hmm. know, I still look over my shoulder, of course, but, you know, mm -hmm. it's good to see down where you may not be able to see. Mm -hmm. But having the feature of actually preventing an accident, mm -hmm. that, that's got some value mm -hmm. to it. I, we rented a car um, for a recent trip. It was a Suburban, and I, you, I didn't know that it was equipped with all of these things. I don't know if you've been in one that's like that, mm -hmm. that's a 2014 or 15, but um, I was driving down the road and went to change lanes, and the whole seat <laughs> vibrated, and these lights lit up like this oh on either side. It really kind of scared me. I think it's kind of scary yeah. <laughs> um, if you were, you know, like, anticipating. Danger, Will Robinson, danger, yeah. <laughs> it scared me um, for sure. Uh, but 
Um, so back to Mobile Iron, um, they do create that technology. Mm -hmm. They're going to be selling it to car makers, and they're really the kind of the only one out there. The scary part about them is that the stock price has really flown up. So. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, that you know makes you a little nervous. You don't want to buy really high. The idea is you know buy things a little lower. Let things settle down a little mm -hmm. too before you right. buy. I However, I mentioned um, the uh, I talked about growth rates of a company. Mm -hmm. We expect this company to grow between 50 and 60 percent over the next five years. Wow. You know, per per year, not just like over the next. I mean, 50 to 60 percent next year, 50 to 60 percent the next year. So you're talking like doubling your you know your business over the next two years which again anytime all stock prices are reflective of a company's ability to earn and grow that business and that is a company that looks like it will continue to grow and earn and uh, that type of software i don't think it's going to be a flash in the pan uh, i don't think I, so i think the either. trend is nowadays just like you said with your with your suburban experience <laughs> right. the trend is now to kind of make you're a car more interactive right and then these mm -hmm. do they stop they will stop vehicles they'll stop accidents they the software will stop if there's a pedestrian coming through as well or you're going to change lanes and um, there's somebody there so there's there is uh, and you know again it, like you said it could be uh, probably not just mm -hmm. uh, a flash and then gone so mm -hmm. Yeah, you got your car doing your thinking for you, <laughs> which actually for some people is not a bad idea. I need the one that'll parallel park for you is what I need. Yeah, yeah I've seen that feature too. They can right. work and kind of do that. Well, yeah. Heather Noyes, I, I, uh, I look forward to seeing how that kind of pans out. It's going to be interesting. It's a brave new world. Yeah, and again, that company's name is Mobile Eye. Mobile Eye. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on Mobile Eye. Right. Heather Noyes, Raymond James Financial, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with Mildred and uh, Andrew as well. Yeah. Now, Andrew, you're part of this team, aren't you? Yes, yes. I'm actually Mildred's husband of almost two years in June. So, all right. So you're not just the uh, the, the the guitarist. No, no. <laughs> I, I play a lot of uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, roles, you, for you sure. play a big role in Mildred's career, I'm sure. Definitely. Now, yeah. You guys are a musical family, but before Andrew, did you come from a musical family? Because you started singing and, and performing so young. Yes. Um, my dad's dad, my grandfather, he taught me how to play the guitar and he passed down three, I guess, heirlooms, you could say, uh -huh. of guitars. And it was my great grandfather, my grandfather's, and then he gave me one. So Holy mackerel. Three generations. Lots of guitars in the house for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's a great legacy to pass on to your children. Some days you guys will. Exactly. Sure we'll be able to have a whole band, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you got your own, <laughs> exactly. your own band going, your own orchestra. <laughs> yes. Now we talked about Juliet. You had, uh, you know, your, your your unveiling of that music video at the Martin Theater recently. Yes. Yeah. And it's just a, it's a, just a lovely song. And uh, <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm hoping you guys could perform it for us here sure. today. Yes, sure. for sure. Well, awesome. Take it away. <laughs> Thanks. Apologies are thrown on the floor While pen and paper don't march on 